Hello. I'd like to read you an article titled Automatic Stemming of Some Arabic Words Used in Persian Through Morphological Analysis Without a Dictionary. The authors are Ahmad Yusufan, Ali Rahimi, Muhammad Rasku, Muhammad Mahdi Mujiri. I read you the abstract. Persian language is teeming with Arabic words and there is a need for Iranians to have access to some instrument which helps them differentiate between the Persian and foreign words. One such instrument is a stammer. A good stammer for Persian must detect and stem these words properly. Such stammers are by no means free from problems. The basic problem for stemming these words with respect to Arabic is their development and the changes they go through. Morphologically, Arabic words have different derivational behaviors as compared with those of Persian. Furthermore, some of these words in Persian have specific features which help us distinguish them from Arabic words. To achieve the proper results, we have restricted ourselves to the derivation of some regular triliteral roots. The findings of this research can be utilized in the areas of information retrieval, text categorization, text summarization, automatic detection of phrasal categories, translation studies, natural language processing, etc. Then there is the keywords. The keywords are computational linguistics, morphology, Persian stemming, information retrieval, and Arabic words and lexicon. Then there is an uh, introduction about the historical perspectives of the backgrounds of Persian and English. They compare the study of, uh, sorry, uh, Persian and Arabic, a comparative study is done. Then there are the, 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 the previous works on Arabic stemming. After that, Persian stemming is produced, then Arabic morphology is produced. Then after that, uh, there are the, the problems and inadequacies of Persian monolingual dictionaries are given. Persian monolingual dictionaries, such as, I, I, don't, I don't give the names. Dictionaries are out of date and do not contain new terms and expressions which have entered the Persian lexicon through different morphological processes. Most of these new words are related to English technical jargons which have been borrowed by Persian language. Furthermore, the aim of this study has been the analysis of the words currently used in Persian texts. To make the situation more complicated, some Persian speakers tend to utilize some Arabic words in a different uh, context. So, this is also the other problem. And also, then it the article proceeds with uh, words with uh, Arabic uh, triliteral measures in Persian also. Also proceeds with removing the word identified as non-Arabic, identification of words which are certainly Arabic, identification of other Arabic words, the method of development for programming also, and I read you, and also the statistical analysis, I give and proceeds to the conclusions. I read you the, conclu the concluding remarks. In this article, identification and etymology of some Arabic words in Persian have been undertaken. Some of these words include certain signs and some do not. Those without certain revealing signs have been identified through their conjugation patterns in Arabic, since only these words manifest such conjugation patterns. This innovative method opens new horizons for continuation of this kind of research study and research activity and more advanced processing techniques. This study 
has been the first step in this enterprise and some other aspect other aspects must also be taken into consideration to further strengthen the design of this of such a research the investigators must include the rules not discussed in the present study comprehensive development of this study has been avoided since the findings need to be corroborated by future studies also it may be mentioned that for the sample under the study hello words were not applied and only strong uh, triliteral stems were taken into account a lot of other, de other details and nuances can also be considered other researchers can increase the number of the words under study in their forthcoming researches so as you know this, this study actually uh, gives us a device or an instrument to be able to to detect you know the words that are Arabic and the words that are not Arabic so as you know uh, any language is fraught with languages uh, uh, vocabularies and items like, and expressions from other other languages so sometimes the speakers are hopeless to see whether this particular word uh, is uh, from their mother tongue or it is taken from another language so they have the problem with the detection of the the, 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 the etymology of the, lang of, the, uh, of the word. So basically, the people need to know about you know, the origin, the application, the, the context, the morphological development, the contextual application, also the syntactic connotation of the words. All are influenced by, by the origin of the, of the word and what language it's, uh, it basically uh, refers to or originated from. So thank you very much. I don't go further and I refer you to the article that is available on academia.edu. Thank you very much.